Hello everyone, it's a beautiful day here at the BYU Family History Library. I am so excited to talk to you about the David Rumsey map collection. Maps are one of my passions in life. The first two maps I'm going to show you are not from the David Rumsey map collection, but they are an intriguing way to use a map. Maps shape the way we visualize and internalize the world. This clever comparison of the size of Africa compared to other continents and regions in our world, or this map comparing the sizes of the United States and the nation of Japan. Maps can give us a new perspective on the world. They can make you realize just how much of what you see can influence your worldview. So who is David Rumsey? David Rumsey is the president of Cartography Associates, and he began collecting maps and historical and other historical related cartography material in 1980. His collection now contains more than 150,000 maps and is one of the largest private map collections in the United States. In 1995, Rumsey began the task of making his collection public by building the online D David Rumsey historical map collection. The website currently has over 100,000 high resolution images of maps and related images from his collection. And of course, David Rumsey should not be confused with Dave Ramsey, the financial advice guy. Let's dive into the David Ramsey map collection. There is so much available on this website, it's really just hard to decide what to look at first. In the last year, the Rumsey Collection has digitized not only maps, but books and infographs, travel brochures, and other beautiful photography and drawings. The first thing that we're going to look at today is just something really fun. These are interactive globes that have been digitized and you can actually move them around just like you would a globe that you found in the library or in the school classroom. This particular globe was created in 1492 and so it looks quite different from the maps and globes that we're used to today. There are several other globes that you can also explore. If we slide down to the bottom of the page we have a um, items grouped for better use. Data visualization maps can present information in a graph form or by symbols on a map. There's a really interesting one just down here a little bit farther. Ah, here it is. Data visualization maps can present information in a graph form or by symbols on a map. This 1915 map shows the ethnic distribution of people in Greece at the time. Looking at this type of a map almost tells a story. You can see where populations are integrated and where they are isolated. It may help you better understand the environment and background of your ancestors. This 1915 map shows the ethnic distribution of people in Greece at the time. So if we look at this map, we have blue for Greek, of Greek heritage. The peach is people of the Muslim faith. And there are also a couple of others here, but interestingly, there's only one area that has the symbol for people of the Jewish faith. So if you have someone who was of the Jewish faith that had come from Greece, you would know that more than likely they would be in this area here. Pictorial maps are usually not drawn to scale, but provide an overall message, often in fun art and characters. This map of Silicon Valley, created in 1985, shows many of the valley's largest or most promising businesses at the time. 
that many of them are companies that we recognize today. Canon has a very prominent and large sign indicating that it was one of the largest companies in Silicon Valley at the time. And in 1985, clear down here in the bottom, there's the little Apple store. Of interest to genealogists are always the property ownership maps. And we can use the search bar in the top to search for those. We can choose to narrow that down by state or even by city. This atlas of Beaver County published in 1876 here we go can show ownership and relationships throughout the community. The wonderful thing about the high resolution scans is that we can get up close and personal with these maps. We can find the coal land governor of Governor Todd, John Dilworth's house, and other Dilworths in the area, George Dilworth's heirs. That is an interesting item on it. Maps in the United States and a few other places can also be viewed in the georeferencer. Rumsey Collection provides us with a georeferenced view of the Darlington map, which is overlaid with a modern map. Most historical maps are not perfectly drawn to scale, but we can see many of the same roads and we can really see how where everyone was at the time. You can use the slide bar to fade in and out the map. Other places that we can narrow the search down to are Argentina. I was really excited to look at the, this particular group of maps. This is a map of the town Tucumán. And if we get right up close and personal, so many names and, and so much information is provided on this map. Unfortunately, this particular map does not have the option to view it in the georeferencer. The David Rumsey collection also has a group of more than 300 maps dealing with the Civil War. And sometimes we think that these are really great for um, Civil War enthusiasts and things, but we also need to remember that the Civil War battles were not fought in isolation. This map created in 1895, and I'm hoping that I'm telling you right, has the name of landowners on it. But it was specifically designed to talk about a specific battle. But here's Mary Saunders and Dr. Lloyd and Dr. Hendrickson and Mrs. Eli so look and think outside the box when we're looking for information about family. Although most of the maps in the collection are of the Western Hemisphere, you can find some really excellent maps that are from regions that you wouldn't normally think about. And this particular map is from Slovenia. 1789 was when this one was created. But this allows you to get right in there and see the small towns and their relationship to each other and to the larger villages, which may be a huge help in your research. Perhaps you're interested in looking at a map of Lima, Peru. This particular map was created in 1879, and you can see the, the street layout and the districts and the river running through it and understand how everything works together. Perhaps you're interested in railroads. This is a 1885 railroad plat. This map shows the town of Pacific Junction, Iowa 
and the railroads that are coming near their near their um, town and shows the roundhouse and other items. We hope that this short tutorial whets your appetite and that you dive in and learn all you can about the maps available for your research at the David Rumsey Map Collection. Thank you. Have a great day.